They are producing young ones. Mm -hmm. They need fresh water. In the sea, fish don't spawn in the sea. So from June and July, when all the rivers are full and they are entering the sea, fish from the sea comes and then they will hatch. Their system is external fertilization. As they hatch the eggs, the male ones will come and fertilize it. And rivers like Ancobra and so on, so fish can even, sea fish can travel inside Ancobra for 30 kilometers, laying eggs, and then they will go back. That means enough fish to come from the sea to our beaches so that people will catch them. Now the water is turbid. Naturally, they will sense it and they will go outside the country where the water is good and then they will go there and lay eggs. So if you continue making our water turbid like this and the fish keep on going outside to lay their eggs, there will be a time that you can't even find fish in the sea. Unless those who have gone to maybe Togo, Nigeria to hatch and they are passing, that will get them in mm -hmm. So that is how nature is. Turbid water, no hatchery. They can't spawn. So yeah, meaning that Galamse is a threat to the exactly. fish yes, business. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, yes. It's a threat because the water will become turbid. And you know the fish, they eat through their gut. So when the water pass through their gut, it's like a filter. The algae in the water get choked in the gut and then they will eat it. But now when the water pass through their gut, it's turbid. It's only clay. So the gut will become so choked with the clay and then the fish will die. So that is what is going on right now. That is going now. If you go to a usage, if you go to Ancobra, the number of fish that they were having the old days has even reduced. And there are some fish, especially tilapia. Mud fish, sometimes they are slightly hard, but tilapia, they will die. Even sometimes when you go to a river and you are catching tilapia and you want to catch them more, just make the water turbid. The tilapia cannot stay in the water. They will all come out and then you catch them. And now you have make all the waters turbid. So naturally, it's not it's not the poison aspect in it. The clay alone will make the girl choked, choked, and then they will die. Before we even come to the poison, uh, exactly. Before so we we need to, to the... stop Galamse. Uh, 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 Galamse was there in the olden days, but not in the rivers. Galamse, ah, I'm 60 that, years that, old that and the system of Galamse was there when I was even young. I'm 60 years old now, but not in the rivers. But now in the rivers, it is killing our fish. And the yeah. fish, polluting the water to us. Well. Exactly. Yeah. And the fish that from the sea coming to uh, lay their eggs with the diluted sea water, with the fresh water from the rivers also, they can come. Naturally, they will sense it that this place is not good. They will pass away. They will go in millions, in millions. If you get a chance to catch them, maybe it's those who have gone to lay the eggs and they are going back, that will catch them. But if the place is conducive, the water is not turbid, the, the place become conducive for the fish and they will come in millions, millions. to lay eggs and they will have them in billions. And then life continues over there. Thank you very much, thank yeah. you very much. So, uh, as you've heard, uh, we'll be bringing you more on fish farming, so stay tuned. Thank you.